Hey, what is up, you sexy beast? Ghost Signature Tristan here. Now, this is my first Tinder hookup. Boy, do I have a fucking story for you guys. Something on Tinder finally panned out into reality, and I'm gonna get right into it. So, first off, if we can smash a thousand likes on this video, if you wanna leave a like, please do, because once we hit a thousand likes, I will upload part two of this story, because it's gonna have to be split into two parts, man. It's just too long of a story. I got way too many juicy deets for you guys. I got way too many juicy details. So, the second this video hits a thousand likes, I will upload, well, if, if I'm home anyway, I will upload um, part two of this story. So it's really, really fire. I'm making it tonight as well. So please leave a like on this video and uh, I'm going to get right into it. So first off, it all starts with Tinder, like I said, obviously with the title uh, would imply as well. And I'm swipe, swipe, swiping, right? I'm swiping right. Uh, <laughs> and everything's going well. I'm thinking everything's going well too, because I'm getting some matches and all is going well. And I'm like, dude, sweet, man. This is, this is awesome. And uh, this is actually my third time on Tinder, guys. I have one horror story after another horror story and everything like that. But this time on Tinder, I'm actually being a little bit more patient and it's definitely panning out. So anyway, I match with this cute girl and I start messaging her. She's one of my like first like cute matches on Tinder and everything like that uh, in this in this third run at Tinder. And I'm like, sweet. So we're hitting off texting, everything like that. And then I end up getting her phone number. So I'm like, sweet. So we're texting now instead of just talking on the app Tinder because you can message on the app Tinder um, before you get their phone number and then you can ask for their phone number. So we're flirting a little bit, texting and we're talking about meeting up and everything like that because we're hitting it off. And I'm like, sweet. This is gonna be great. Well, we're definitely gonna have to meet up sometime soon and uh, Absolutely, so I was pretty much booked all that weekend. You know, I have work and everything like that I got poker night with the guys and so I can't really do anything this weekend um, and so you know, I didn't tell her that, but I'm like, all right, what about Monday or something? We go bowling Monday and go on a hike or something. And uh, yeah, she was like totally down for it. I'm like, sweet. This is going swell, man. This is going great. Because obviously, I'm really not looking for anything serious right now. But I do realize you kind of got a date to get to know people and everything like that. So I am so down for that. And I really don't um, mind having to do that because it's honestly fun, in my opinion, when it goes well. When it doesn't go well, it's not fun. But it's still a good memory. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard to explain. But yeah, so anyway... Uh, I call her actually that night and we're talking on the phone. Her voice is cute. I'm like, sweet. We're hitting it off in my opinion. Things are going well uh, as well. And I'm like, dude, this is just a constant. Like, I don't even have to try luckily. And it, you should never have to try, but you know what I mean? Um, so I'm like, sweet. So a day or two later, a day or two later, which is actually last Friday, I end up calling her. So I call her on her cell phone <laughs> and I call her and we're talking on the phone. And keep in mind, guys, this is after I'm done with work. I'm done with the gym. I'm sweaty. You know, I'm like, I'm done for the day, in my opinion. I'm in my fucking pajamas, you know, eating cereal or some shit. I'm eating something uh, in my kitchen. And I'm like fucking done with the day. And I did not expect this at all. So I call her on the phone and um, we're talking and everything like that. And like I said, that I couldn't meet this girl for a couple days because I had, you know, closing shifts at work and I had stuff to do. And so um, I couldn't really meet her. Neither could she for that weekend. So we're like, whatever. I guess we'll just figure out a scheduling time next week. And so that totally works, dude. I have all the time in the world. It's whatever. It's not a big deal. So uh, we're talking on the phone and she's going on about like being vegan or whatever and like going on this rant. I'm like, this is going well. And so then she asked me like out of nowhere, she's like, what are you doing tonight? And I'm like, uh, not, not really anything. I kind of finished all I had to do today. Uh, and she's like, all right, well, you know, my friends are going to hang out in like an hour or so. Do you want to hang out before then? And I'm like, oh fuck. Yeah, I do. And so I'm like, shit, man. So like I put down the food, I go to the bathroom and I start like brushing my teeth. I start, I put on jeans, you know, I start looking fresh as a motherfucker. And I'm like, all right, what to do with this hair? So I like do my hair and then I'm like, shit, dude, if she ends up going down on me or, or things ended up getting heated, right? Because I had dropped fucking hints upon hints about being friends with benefits with this girl. I'll get to this part in the story later, but basically I was like, hey, you know, it'd be great if, you know, um, I'm just really looking to be friends with benefits or whatever. I'm, and she's like, yeah, I'm not cool. I'm not looking for a relationship either. You know, I'm like, would you want to be friends with benefits? And she's like, yeah, maybe. And I'm like, awesome. That's great. Because, you know, I drop all these hints and all these winky faces and everything like that. Um, so I'm very clear with my intentions with this girl and she's still down. And I'm like, dude, this is fucking awesome. This is great. And so we also talked on Snapchat a bit, but basically that's both her proving I'm real and me proving she's real, which is good. Uh, and again, we talked on the phone. So I was like, all right, dude, this girl's not a catfish. She's legit. It's awesome. And, uh, yeah, so we were texting and everything was, you know, it was like, sweet, we're on the phone, and she's like, what are you doing tonight? So, like I said, I'm in the bathroom getting ready, and I'm like, dude, shit, if stuff goes down, man, I gotta, and I was meaning to shave.
shave like my pubes that night, man. I was meaning to like shave down there because obviously, if you guys are new to my channel, I'm a very graphic storyteller, so it just gets kind of more graphic as as the stuff goes on. But it's really not too bad if you guys want to stick with it. It's not some crazy ass story like I normally have. Uh, it's still a pretty damn good story though. So anyway, I'm like in my bathroom, like shit, dude. I gotta feel fresh, and like I had already, I think, I no, I hadn't showered after the gym that night. Uh. And I, w I wasn't really that sweaty, so I like I changed shirts and everything like that. I put on deodorant, I put on cologne. I was feeling fresh, I was smelling good, I was looking good. And I'm like, shit, dude, I was, I was meaning to shave tonight, you know, and obviously uh, <laughs> don't want to fuck this girl with, like cactus dick or some shit, you know what I mean, at the base. Like, nah, fam, nah, I ain't about that life. So I was like, I took my, my trimming tool and I was like up and down, um, you know, my groin or whatever, just making sure to cut down as much hair as I can. It really, really wasn't that bad, but obviously if you guys shave regularly, you'll know that after like three, four days, you're like, whoa, dude, this is a little longer than I'm comfortable with and you want to shave it. So I, like I said, I didn't have time to just fully shave it uh, before I saw this girl. So I like, I got this trimming tool and I like trim it all down. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, this will do. This is short. This is short enough. This will do um, or whatever. And so I was like, all right, well, what to do next, man? I don't want to have smell really bad or taste really bad. You know what I mean? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And so I grab a baby wipe and I'm just in this. I got this tip from Simple Pickup. So you guys can give me all the shit in the world you want. But I got this tip from Simple Pickup. So I'm like running that down like my taint and shit and running it around my balls, etc. Uh, I'm getting clean. I'm getting clean. And the funniest part is I know she's fucking watching this video, all right? And I'll, <laughs> I'll get to that later. But yeah, so this is what men do, all right? This is what men do. So I wanted to be fresh as a motherfucker. So if she did end up going down on me or something ended up happening, it'd be good. It wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be like, <laughs> well, what the fuck is that? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so I, fam, I, I keep it lit. I keep it awesome. So yeah, we do that and everything's going well. So I manscaped. A little bit, d did that stuff, and then I was like, sweet. So I type in her uh, phone, or uh, blah, I type in her address into my phone. I'm like, all right, sweet. So let's go to her house. Everything's, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna, it's gonna be dope. I'm excited. You know, if we ho hope we hit it off, obviously, she says she's down to be friends with benefits. So I don't know if we're gonna like hook up in my car or whatever. Oh, and I ended up, di I did end up putting a condom in my wallet. Obviously, man, obviously, because I'm down for anything. So, like I said, my place was a little bit dirty. Oh, I did not say that already. So my place was a little bit dirty. So I didn't really wanna, Hanging out here, so I was kind of worried about that. But I would totally be down if she, if we hit it off well enough, she would totally understand. Like, it's really not that bad. They're just kind of stuff where it shouldn't be. You know what I mean? I just need to clean up a little bit. But my place isn't really that dirty right now. So, um, I end up going to her house, and on my way there, my phone's acting up with the GPS. I'm like, whatever, dude. It's a really simple route to get to her house. She doesn't live that far away. And so uh, I'm like, sweet. I think this is the right street. So I get there, and I notice kind of the car she was talking about parked up front. I'm like, sweet. This is it. And I couldn't really see the address or whatever. So I text her saying that I'm here. And I see her come out, dude. And she fucking comes out in shorts like I'm dead. She was looking cute, but she wasn't looking exactly like her photos. And that's totally something that happens with her face. Like when she uses eyeliner, she looks totally different than when she doesn't use eyeliner tonight she's using eyeliner so she was like I don't know she looks cuter without it that's all I'm saying <laughs> so uh we got to that later but that's totally different and I'm like okay yeah she's still cute I'd still smash I'm still down um and so literally she gets in my car and uh she was complaining about it being cold or whatever so I turn on my seat warmers because in my car I have seat warmers right I turn on her seat warmers and she's like you know uh cool or whatever and she's on her phone like a million miles an hour dude she is just constantly on her phone and I'm like what what the fuck, dude? I'm trying to like start a conversation with her and she's like, yeah, just hold on a second. You know, I'm texting my friend or whatever that I'm going to meet up with. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm kind of here right now. I didn't say that, but I'm like, yeah, so what the fuck? Like, I'm totally not okay with this. You just being on your phone the entire time. Like, what's the point of even hanging out with me? Like, I'm definitely not going to give you a ride to your friend's house. Like, if that's what you're thinking, fuck no. Uh, I ain't about that life. So yeah, guys, this girl, oh, by the way, this girl is still in high school. She graduates like really soon, but she's still in high school right now. So obviously that, uh, that does matter her in the story and I'll get to it a little bit later. So yeah, she gets in and we're talking for a bit. Not really though. It's super fucking weird. Like I'm pulling up around the street and I'm just driving around. Um, cause we're like, where do we go? And it's like late Friday night. It's like 10 PM and nothing's fucking open. All right. Where I live, like literally nothing is open. And it's just like ice cream. And she's like, again, I'm a vegan. I'm like, damn it, man. You can't fucking eat anything. Like, fuck. Um, whatever. And so, like, we're just driving around. She's like, why do you want to go somewhere so bad? I'm like, I don't know. So it'll be less awkward. But yeah, so we're driving around. Well, I'm driving around. And she's in the fucking passenger seat on her phone. And I'm just like, this is going horribly. This is a fucking train wreck. All right. <laughs> so I'm just like, dude, what the fuck ever. All right. We'll see what happens. Obviously, I can make this shit lit. I can make this change, man. I can do this. I can still pull through. Uh, and so, obviously, you know, I wanted this girl 
scroll to give me her attention, right? Because obviously, like, don't just be on your fucking phone. Like, that's so rude. Like, that's not cool at all. So anyway, we drove around for a bit. It's still awkward. I'm trying to make conversation. It really isn't going anywhere. And so I'm like, all right, well, I'm just going to park somewhere so we can actually get to talking. So I park in my old McDonald's parking lot, the one I used to work in. And uh, she finally puts her phone down and we start talking. All right. This is great. So she tells me about her and I tell her about me. And then she finds out about my YouTube channel when I was telling her about me. Like, yeah, you know, like she's like, what are your hobbies or whatever? I'm like, yeah, I like to make YouTube videos and play poker. She's like, you make YouTube videos like you're a YouTuber. And I'm like, yeah, she's like, what's your channel? And I'm like, I'm not going to tell you, but you can find it on my Facebook. So she goes to my Facebook and we'd already added friends and everything like that. And so she's like looking at like the silver plaque picture I posted and she like finds my channel name. And so while she's there, she's like, how many subscribers do you have? And I'm like, uh, 112,000. And she's like, wow, really? That's a lot. That's awesome. And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a fun thing to do. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm talking to her about like living, you know, on my own or whatever. Cause like she asked, you know, about like, you know, I told her about where I lived and she's like, oh, you live alone? I'm like, yeah, I live alone. It's pretty dope. So anyway, like she's asking about my YouTube channel and she's like looking at it. She looks at it briefly and sees some of the video tiles. She's like reading them off to me and she thought it was really cool. So anyway, I turn off my car and we're talking. Now, eventually we start to lay our chairs down because she's like, you know, I'm super tired of her. I'm like, oh, let's go get some coffee or, or something. And she's like, no, 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 I'm not down for that. I'm like, okay, well, then let's just lay down. And so um, she lays her passenger seat down, right? Like in my car, it's really easy to lay down. And then, um, I start laying my, I lay, I kept mine up for a little while while we're talking and, and, uh, hitting things off. And now we're really talking. Like I said, dude, she had completely put down her phone and I had her, uh, complete attention. I'm like, thank God, dude, like, please, man, get the fuck off your phone. It's totally not cool. So yeah, we're talking. She lays down her chair and I'm kind of like looking over at her and uh, we were talking about just miscellaneous shit, just some random stuff, you know, getting to know each other, glasses, contacts, everything like that, man. We we hit on a lot. I, I mean, a lot. I'm not even going to go over all of them. I'm really only going to go over the relevant ones with you guys because it's just ridiculous amounts of information that you really don't need to know. I mean, I provide a, provide a lot of details, but there's some shit you guys just really don't need to know. So we're talking there and I end up and uh, I end up laying my chair down too because I'm like, all right, this is fucking weird, like staring down at you or whatever. So I'm going to lay my chair down too. And I kind of like laid sideways looking over at her and I was on my right side and she was on uh, her left side. And so like, I we're like looking over at each other awkwardly and it's just like, uh, yeah, so whatever. And so I kind of like laid straight and I would like face straight forward. I would like kind of look over at her instead of just staring her into her soul. And so we're laying there talking and, um, man, the shit we talked about, she was like, Hey, so do you get around? And she was talking about like partying and stuff. And I was like, what? Like, that's literally a question you ask about somebody. Like, how often do you get around? Or like, do you get around much? Like how many fucking people do you sleep with? Like, that is what that question means to adults. Um, oh, by the way, this girl's 18. I just, I just wanted to let that be known. Cause, uh, she is in high school, but she is 18. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that is definitely relevant. Cause I've made videos and stuff about that in the past. So yeah. And so she's like, Hey, do you get around? And I'm like, Oh, what do you mean? Like that, that really means how many people do you sleep with? She's like, Oh, you know, do you get around the town often? You know, do you go to a lot of parties and stuff? I'm like, no, I don't really like the party scene. And we kind of get to talking about that. And now, um, yeah, so we go off on that for a bit. And then I, I was like, why did you ask me that? Like, that's literally what people say when they want to know how many people you've slept with, like how many girls I've slept with or whatever. 